So you got yourself a Coinbase, but then you realized, huh, why would I trust my hard-earned money on an exchange whose servers run on potatoes and these potatoes constantly shut down? And then you realize that Gemini not only is the bee's knees, but bees actually do have knees. So in this video, I will be showing you how to transfer your crypto from Coinbase to Gemini. And this works for really any exchange. So you could be transferring from Kraken to Gemini, Coinbase to Gemini, Binance to Gemini, <laughs> really anything to Gemini. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is open Coinbase, log in, go to the send and receive at the top, Go ahead and click on that and you'll want to be on this option send and you can see here you can send the amount in dollars or the amount in the crypto that you have chosen down here you have the email or the address an optional message and what crypto that you're going to be sending so first choose your crypto i'm going to be sending bitcoin and then enter in your address and how do you find this address so first you'll want to log into gemini and click on this transfer up here and then make sure you're on deposit into gemini and then you'll be able to select your currency so make sure that if you're sending bitcoin you're sending it to a bitcoin address if you're sending ethereum you're sending it to an ethereum address this is super, super important because the blockchains are not the same. If you send Bitcoin to Ethereum, you will not be able to retrieve it and no one can help you with that. So you must send Bitcoin to Bitcoin, Ethereum to Ethereum, the crypto to the crypto. Let me tell you what, you don't want to be singing sad boy music because you lost all your coins. All my coins are gone. Super sad song. Nah, you don't want to be there. Be more like Big Sean. He he's buying red bottoms with crypto. He's putting kids through school or or something. Yeah, <laughs> they just buy 1.5 billion dollars of Bitcoin. That's crazy. Anyways, let's get back to our regularly scheduled show. Since I'm sending Bitcoin, I'll be wanting to choose Bitcoin. Click on continue and it'll show you your address. So here, go ahead and highlight this string of letters and numbers. Right click and copy or you can do control C. I like to right click and copy though so I don't mess anything up. Go ahead and go to Coinbase and then enter in the address by clicking paste and you'll always want to double triple check this because if you send this to the wrong address then it is uh, non-retrievable so you must do this right the first time and the reason why this transaction is irreversible and that there's no one that you can call is because bitcoin is not a company there's no central authority there's no support team there's no no one that you can contact to help you with these transactions because Bitcoin runs on blockchain technology and blockchain technology is irreversible. Once a transaction is put on the blockchain, it cannot be taken out or reversed or changed. So go back and double check that they look the same. Make sure that you are chosen on Bitcoin if you have chosen Bitcoin. So I've chosen Bitcoin, 1ATK. 3EEDX, 1ATK, 3EEDX, no optional message, um, make sure you're chosen on the Bitcoin wallet, and then enter in an amount. So what you want to do, if this is your first time sending, is make sure that you just send a little bit. So right now I'm going to only send $5, so that way I know that I can actually receive it. So here I'll click continue. And it says you are sending $4.99. My total is $7.13. And down here is my network fee. And this is how much it costs to actually send money on the Bitcoin network. And it's going to be different for each coin. So Ethereum, for example, could be more expensive, could be less. It depends on the congestion or the amount of activity going on on the network. And Coinbase doesn't charge any fee and right here you can see that the payment will be received in about 30 minutes so I will be checking back here in about 30 minutes and update you I'm gonna go ahead and click send now enter in your two-step verification if you have one set up so it says send $4.99 to that address this transaction usually takes less than 10 minutes click done and then I will wait for this Bitcoin balance to go up and another thing you can check, go to account, go to balances, 
and click on transfer history. So at the moment, there is no transfer coming in, so it has not been accepted yet. Once the transfer is complete, you should see it in here. What you can also do is click on portfolio over here. And then if you scroll down, you can see this recent transactions area. So if you click on this, you can confirm that it is being sent to this address and it's pending. And on this page, you can see the Bitcoin address right here. And actually, if you click it, you'll see information about your transaction. So you'll see that the address is here, how much you're going to um, be receiving, and then the final balance. And then down here, you'll see some transaction information. Don't worry that it says 10 BTC. So basically, these transactions are grouped together. So one of these is at your actual transaction. And you can see here that it's unconfirmed because this is one of the blocks on the blockchain. So once this block is confirmed, then you should be able to see your Bitcoin inside of your wallet. So if you go back to this page on blockchain.com where your transaction was and where your address was, you can see that there are three confirmations. And that's how many confirmations are needed before a transaction or a group of transactions will really a block on the blockchain is accepted. And uh, just a quick overview of blockchain.com is a website where you can look at all the transactions that happen on these uh, blockchains. So on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash. And you can literally put in any transaction, any address, or any block number, and you will be able to find uh, everything that happened on that block. Now, don't be scared. This address is pretty anonymous. As you can see, this is literally just a string and no one can really gather information due to this. This is also a public address, which means that uh, you could give it to anyone and anyone can send you crypto. This is literally meant to be shown to other people and for them to be able to send crypto to this specific address. So really, you can think of it as a mailing address, but really, it's even more private than that. All right. And then if we go to Gemini and look at the balances and look at the transfer history, you can see that the deposit was complete for that amount. So now at this point, you basically just go to send and receive. Make sure that this is the right address again when you go to deposit into Gemini. You did this before, so you should be pretty confident in uh, doing this. Go ahead and copy that string again, that address, um, put it in here. I'm confident that that's what it was. Go back, double check it again, and then go to click send all. And click continue. Make sure that you're sending again um, Bitcoin to Bitcoin if that's what you're doing. See Bitcoin address, Bitcoin crypto, and then send now. And again, confirm here. Okay, now I've sent all the Bitcoin that I have on Coinbase to my Gemini. And I can't stress it enough, always double, triple check that one, your address is correct, and two, that you're sending to the correct crypto. So please smash that like button for me if this was helpful in any way. Subscribe if you're new and hit that bell notification to keep updated with all the hottest things in crypto from the Bull Moon Gang. And comment below on what you'd like to see next. I plan on making a video on how to earn interest on your crypto as well as on how to read charts. So have a great day and thank you so much for listening.